Hey, this is John Burton with Revival X here in Branson, Missouri, and I'm going to bring you a fire in the whole sermon. And just a quick one, a short one. Uh, this morning at Revival X, at our service, before the service, we have just wildfire prayer, and we were going after it, and God was rocking and moving us and impacting us. And um, as we were praying, I got this this. You know, and I told him, I said, come on, guys, this is going to be a little goofy, maybe, you know, uh, but I've got a fire in the hole message that I'm going to bring you guys right now. And I did. And uh, people were truly impacted. They, they really were. And, you know, I know that uh, we're, we're in a place where we want to see God just do incredible stuff. Before I get into this, let me talk about fire in the hole the ride. And um, just Amy and I went yesterday. We have a travel channel. It's called TPF Travel. And we've taken a break for about a year, but uh, we have hundreds of videos and we've done uh, tons of silver dollar city, uh, city videos. And we were there yesterday, opening day, did a video and uh, did a live. And uh, we went to the new fire uh, fireman's district, the fire district, and used to be called Fireman's Landing. It's a, it's stunning. It's incredible. It's amazing. And we kind of rope dropped it and blazed right on out there to uh, ride the ride. It was, it's a soft opening right now. And so uh, we were excited that we had an opportunity to do that. So jumped in line, waited a little while and wow, wow. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you know, it, and, and what's cool I'm going to get to this a little bit more in a, in a moment. I'm going to make, I'm going to draw some parallels, right? Uh, it was very much like the old fire in, the, fire in the hole, but everything was fresh and new. And it was, I mean, Silver Dollar City absolutely just slam dunked this thing. I mean, it is, it is r remarkable. I don't know. I, you know, I could be wrong. I don't know of another ride out there that was completely recreated um, to mimic the same ride, you know, at another park. Has that happened? Someone help me out. Tell me if that has happened. You know, you would think, you know, typically, okay, done with that old ride. Let's build something completely different. Silver Dollar City didn't do that. And I love the fact that they didn't do that. And we've got fire in the hole of uh, version two at Silver Dollar City. And it's just beautiful. Just absolutely amazing. Amy was there. You got to check the video out. She got her red Flanders pants and she wore her red Flanders pants all throughout the park and she was jumping and skipping and it was just the coolest thing ever. So you've got to get out to Silver Dollar City, Branson, Missouri, ride the new fire in the hole. Whew. All right, let's go over. Let's let's kick into this little mini kind of a kind of a goofy, but but I think it's kind of legit a, a, a sermon here, a fire in the hole sermon, fire in the hole. OK, I won't do that. Fire the hole, sermon, okay? Of course, just as I said, it's an incredible ride, but here's the truth. The old ride, the old fire in the hole, absolutely amazing, right? And people loved that ride. They loved fire in the hole. And, and when we started to hear that it, you know, last year, you know, it's the, la they are saying, this is the last year of fire in the hole, Woo! Get on some of the Facebook groups. People were flipping out, which is, it's honestly, that's a great sign. They were flipping out. Some people were saying, I'm never going to go to Silver Dollar City again. Never going to do it. They're getting rid of the, they're getting rid of the best ride. They're getting rid of this, the, the nostalgia. They're, they're, what are they, what are you, what are they doing? What are they doing? And there was, there was this, a bit of a revolt, kind of a spirit, a spirit of revolt going on. And what are you doing, Silver Dollar City? Come on, why are you messing with this? We want this to be here forever. We, you know, and a lot of you have heard, you've, you've heard that, you've heard that, because the ride was, was absolutely legendary, legendary. The reality, the reality was that it was quite jerky, right? Now, Fire in the Hole is a slow ride. It's a slow coaster, it's a family coaster, indoor. And, uh, but, it, but, but even still jerky and, you know, it, it just, it just had that, that old school uh, feel to it. You know, definitely it was aging. You know, I could only presume that it was 
extremely challenging, probably expensive to maintain. And so all sorts of reasons, you know, led them up to making the shift. All right, now let, let, let's kick into some of these, some of these parallels. We need, and it's not easy. You know, I just went through, I just went through a cancer scare. And I preached on it this morning. I encourage you to go to revivalx.tv. Uh, that message is titled Layers, Levels, and Devils. And man, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. There's a testimony and a story. I was healed a couple of times through that. God worked, you know, remarkably. And, and, and so, but it was a challenge. My wife got up at the end and she was sharing and just tears in her eyes. And uh, uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was definitely a, a, a little rough stretch right there. But man, God moved powerfully. It's incredible. I'm, I, I'm, I'm well, I'm good, all is well. And we're carrying on. But, um, so we know that life, 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 life is crazy, but here's where, here's where, here's where it gets tough. You know, trust the trust in God thing is a challenge. And the idea that God would want to change us is honestly can be a little offensive. It can be a little scary. It could, it could cause us to be a little bit angry. You know, what is that? What do you mean? What do you mean? He wants to, he wants to change me. He wants to, he wants to do that. What does that even mean? And I'm thinking of the old fire in the hole. Why, why are you going to change? Why are you going to change? Uh, you know, you know, the old fire in the hole, there's nothing wrong with it. When I keep it just as it is, listen close, everybody listen, listen, God is not out to destroy you. That's the devil. He's not out to destroy you. He loves you with a passion that is way beyond anything that you could ever imagine. It's, it, it's, it's deep and it's real and it's authentic. And uh, uh, his love is just phenomenal. It's amazing. It's just, you know, go deep in God's love and it'll just blow your mind. But he's not looking to destroy you. He created you. He thought about you. He brought you to the earth. He loves you, right? He's not looking to destroy you. He's looking to transform you. He's looking to transform me. It's a huge difference, right? He wants to renew us. You know, scripture, Isaiah 43, 18, 19, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I'm doing a new thing, right? So, so we had an old fire in the hole. Hey, there's a new fire in the hole. God doesn't want us to remember the old or hang out with the old. He wants to bring us the new. He wants to renew us. Now, the old fire in the hole, it was, it was in one particular part of the park. The new one is in a new place. It's in a new place, a place that makes more sense, a place that I think has great accessibility, a place I think also there might be some future plans of development around it, right? Uh, I love how the, the train goes right by it. It's another great place to, to, to view the train. I love trains. I love, I love the steam train. And, um, but it's in a new place, you know, God wants to bring you to a new place. He does, right? And, and it would be easy to say, no, let's keep firing the hole right where it is, right in the old place. I know where it is. And, um, well, can we trust? Can we, tr can we trust the Hersons to make the right decision? And Brad Thomas and others, right, to maybe move it to a better place. Well, we can trust God to move us to a new place, a new place in our life, to, to leave some old things behind. We can do that. So so the, the new ride, so now we've got the new ride, right? And you know, one of the things that, that, I, that I noticed was of course, everything is fresh and it's new and it's really awesome. And just, just looking at the outside and going through the queue and it's just, it's, it's just something to behold. And, and so you, so you get in there and, and your heart's beating or mine was, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, let's go. Amy was like screaming. She's like, I mean, she was excited about it, you know, and, you know, and, and the kind of the social media influencer part of it was just part of us was just coming out. And we're like, yeah, let's go. And we love theme parks and travel and all that stuff. So we were coming alive. We, we, we were absolutely coming alive. We saw so many people that came up to us yesterday and said, Hey, it's Sean and Amy TPL. Hey, we love you guys. I love meeting people like that. I love, I love you all. You guys are just amazing. I mean, I, I mean, I, oh, it's just incredible. So there we were just having the time of our lives. We, 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 we get in, we get in the, in, on the coaster and it's just, it feels a little bit familiar, 
but it feels fresh and new. Now, now God, again, God's not out to destroy us. He's out to transform us. He's out to renew us. So as we start moving, the first thing that I noticed was the sound. The sound was incredible. And you can just, it was crystal clear because uh, 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 there was uh, onboard sound, you know, on the coaster itself, in addition to other sounds and ambient sounds and different things that were going on. Um, and I, when you let God transform your life, you're going to start to hear him more clearly. You're, you're going you're gonna to hear him more clearly. You're going to, you're gonna, the, the experience is going to uh, envelop you, right? Uh, the closer you get to God, the, the, the clearer, the clearer uh, you can hear him, the more he transforms and, and removes the layers and heals and, and heals trauma and wounds of past and uh, of the past and, and, and does all of this stuff, you know, uh, his voice gets a lot clearer in addition to the to the sound being clearer this is a part that i love you know we own escape rooms here in branson and you know we love we love the uh uh with the storytelling and the you know the 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 theming and all that kind of stuff well the story made crystal clear sense you were immersed in a story now, I mean, very, very much so from the very beginning, you know, that, you know, you're getting on the ride, you're walking through the little, you know, little town and, you know, the town's on fire and all these signs saying that stores closed because we're out, you know, we're, we're going to, we're putting out the fire. And so immediately you understand the story, you, you know, now, and then on the coaster, you hear the story as it's being narrated and, and it's being played out before you. And when you trust God, when we we trust God with our life, our story becomes more clear. It becomes, it, you know, the Bible says that he orders the steps of the righteous, meaning he's going to give us steps to take. And we're not going to be wandering around aimlessly and, con, you know, confused. And it's going to make sense. And, and that our story is going it, to, it's going to invigorate us. We're going to get excited. And suddenly, suddenly it's, it's like, wow, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm, wow, I'm getting into this new, this new thing. Yeah. And so this story was clear. I'm excited about that, man. I'm a visionary. I love the idea of the story, the story of my life, you know, where God's called me and what I'm called to do and, um, you know, and how God's called other people. And I love seeing them step into their, in, into their destinies and step into their callings. And I love it when the story starts to make sense. Well, in addition, you know, there was all sorts of incredible upgrades, tons of upgrades behind the scenes that we will never see or never understand. And that's true with God. He's doing something in our heart. He's some, doing something in our in our soul. You know, we're, we're, we're body, soul, and spirit. You know, and that's how we're made up. He's doing something in our bodies, but, but really in our emotions. He's doing, you know, in our heart, in our spirits. God's doing something under the hood that is that is just next level it's next level he's transforming us you know we are we're spirit beings you know we're gonna live forever uh um, um somewhere right we're gonna live forever we're eternal we're, we're not gonna just disappear someday uh we're and and so god does that he renews us and and he's doing a, 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 an inner work so i love the fact you know of course fire in the hole has all this latest tech and all the latest upgrades and then the theming and you're going through the ride and it's like wow the old one was cool you know in this new one again the track was the, the 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 layout was really the same as the old one it was so similar to the old one you know so again god's not trying to destroy you he's trying to transform you and so it's not that he just kills you and finds a better you uh that's not what was going on uh with fire in the hole they didn't just kill the kill fire in the hole and come up with something that's completely different and a brand new concept no the same layout the same the same basic scenes but now the theming is just popping and it's 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 just uh, uh it's it's incredible in the you know in in the uh you've got the bald knobbers and you got you know the the firefighters i love that how they're adding firefighters in there and one guy had a hose and a shooting real water on top of a uh, of a building and you know you're hearing you're hearing all of the dialogue as we're looking around and we're seeing the different scenes and the projections and different things like that and so so you've got that going on now in the new fire in the hole i'm telling you what when you let god transform you 
There's all sorts of upgrades and all sorts of uh, things that are that are happening. People will look at you and say, you are not the same. What happened to you? Wow, it's incredible. I mean, I know it's you. It's the, it's the same you, but it's a new you too. It's really new. It's, 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 it's amazing, right? And, and so, so, so we all, you know, so all of that's going on. And then of course we noticed that, like I said, the, the, the layout of the track was the same. But, it, but it's not jerky. Boy, is this baby smooth. Ooh, I mean, just smooth as butter. And still, there's still ups and downs, right? Of course, in life, we've got ups and downs. But as we trust in the Lord, man, he's going to make our ways smooth, right? And, you know, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart, all of it. Do not lean on your own understanding in all all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your and he will make straight your paths meaning he's got you right at the end of the ride there was this massive celebration and this is what i want for you at the end of our life right here on the earth and also prayerfully right we we get to heaven and there's there's a celebration of life on earth celebrating that 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 we finished well get to heaven there's a celebration as we as we as we arrive into heaven and we you know we just we just we just run and uh, to Jesus and just this celebrate Jesus is celebrating us man and but it was cool on the ride you know uh, and and they had filmed it and people dancing and celebrating and got got this video and and here's the thing guys Here's my prediction. Nobody's going to miss the old ride. Nobody. Nobody's going to miss the old ride. Okay, maybe for a moment you're thinking back. It's like, hmm, I don't know. Uh-uh. We're, nobody is going to miss the old ride. We went over there, and we it, now it's all fenced off. And I just stood back, and I looked at it, the old one, uh, yesterday. And I'm like, I'm like, there's some nostalgia there. But man, this building is old. And I started looking closer. It's like, wow, is it old and weathered and it needs to be done. This, this version of fire in the hole needs to be done. You know, um, and no one's, I don't think anybody's going to miss the old one. We can trust God to transform us, to renew us. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. And so there you have it. There you have my fire in the hole sermon. I've never done anything like that. Hey, I've preached two times in the wilderness church there at Silver Dollar City. My dad um, worked there at Silver Dollar City for, I think, 27 years. And he preached there every Sunday for quite some time. Um, and I love, I love that. I love that place. And I'll go in there. In fact, I did it yesterday and I'll open the Bible. I'll just kind of point my finger and I'll look at a verse and I'll, if I'm doing a video, a live video or something like that, I'll do a quick preach on whatever that verse is. But, um, um, I love Silver Dollar City. I love I, I love the park. I love I love the, uh, the I love the Christian heritage. Um, but uh, and I love Fire in the Hole. Got to tell you, and I encourage you to get out there. But I I really believe that God wants to transform your life, and I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Trust Him, because when you go through things like I went through the last few weeks, you need Him. You really need Him. And he's there for you and he loves you and he cares about you and he's ready to meet you exactly where you are. So let me pray over you and uh, we'll be done. Father, in Jesus' name, God, I just thank you. I thank you for the, 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 the individual that's watching this, the people that are watching this. I pray, Lord, that you would move in their life just with great power, great love. I pray you would overwhelm them right now. You would touch them. You would reach them, speak to them. I pray old wounds and trauma and difficulties and challenges, God, would be healed. I pray that the old would, would give way to the new, that they would take that step. Maybe, God, they don't even know you. I pray they would say, yes, Jesus, I need you. I just need you. I can't do it alone. I've failed. Man, the, the, the sin in my life is just overwhelming me. I need it to be gone. Jesus, I want you. I want you to wash that all away. I'm ready to follow you. 
I'm ready to do it. I'm not playing games anymore. I'm ready to follow you. Some of you already are following him. God, I pray for these people, Lord, that they would just go another level. They would take another step. They would go deeper in you. You can be trusted. Lord, we bless you. We thank you. Bless the Red Dollar City. Bless the people there. But God, I thank you for what you're doing in the earth. I'm excited. I'm excited that you are moving on the face of the earth. I pray for revival to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, if you're in the Branson area, come on out. There's a lot of good churches in Branson. We're more of an equipping center, training center, prayer center, uh, but we're going after it, man. I tell you what, Tuesday nights at 7, Sunday mornings, 930, Revival X. Go to revivalx.tv. We're right by the big white cross um, there on Highway 65. All right, you guys are amazing. Huge, crazy blessings to you, and I'll talk to you again soon.